Hello, I'm Jake Berg, and you're here watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to an artist I've been wanting to interview for years, Jake Bug. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, thank you. We're here at Turf today. Kind of walk me through your day. What have you been up to so far? What I've been up to? I didn't sleep very well last night, so uh, I was sleeping for the most of this morning, <laughs> and a little bit into the afternoon as well. You've pretty much toured all over the place, but is there anywhere you'd love to bring your music that you've yet to? Um, yeah, there's still some place in the world that I haven't gone, but uh, hopefully in the future I'll, uh, I'll get to go there and play. Um, but it's nice to be here while I am, and, uh, and in the, nice, the nice weather as well. well on the music front, I have to congrats on the release of On My One, your latest record. Thank you. You're welcome. How's it feel to finally have unleashed this labor of love with all your fans? Um, it's nice. It's always nice to put out a new record, and uh, I'm not too sure how I did critically. Probably not very well, but uh, but it's all about what the fans think, and um, and the shows have been going well, so that's all that really matters. Well, for me, a track I'm really digging. My favorite one off the record would probably have to be "Gimme the Love." Oh, really? It kind of has this like undertone, Manchester vibes, and let's be honest, you're kind of rapping on it in a way. A little bit, yeah. Little bit. I think so. It's just one note, so it sounds like it's yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not very melodic, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a little bit up, uh, upbeat than uh, than some of my other songs. It's super catchy. Would you call yourself an all right rapper? How would you kind of put yourself on the rapping scale? I would put myself on the bottom of the of the scale oh, for come sure. On. Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> I, I ain't no rapper. I ain't no rapper. <laughs> I know you're also a pretty big fan of hip-hop I and mean, I just love all the different nuances that go into your music is there a certain one you were trying to channel the most on this album were you kind of just going for a bunch of different ones no I was just kind of experimenting around with stuff really and um, like I've always uh, been interested to, in, in like you know putting genres together and seeing what comes out of it and just trying things out because a lot of things have already done be, been done before so I'm just experimenting with the with uh, a few things I find when I listen to the record, one of the sadder songs on there is probably the title track. Was that written when you were away from home? What, what was on your mind when you were writing that? Um, I think people seem to think that it's like a song about feeling sorry for yourself, being on the road. But it's kind of about, I, I, I'd written it from the perspective that if like tomorrow I wasn't able to do this and like travel and play music, then what kind of song would I write? So I put myself in a, in a different frame of mind than, than the one I'm in. I remember once reading an interview and you were saying how you'll never forget where you came from and you're from Nottingham so what are some of your favorite things about your hometown? Um, I'd say probably my friends and family and stuff. Uh, there's not really that much for, for me to do there now but it was a big part of uh, me growing up so um, it's, hard to, it's hard to forget that. Do you think you'll always call Notting Nottingham home? Um, well, I, I don't know. I, I don't know where's home right now. <laughs> home is wherever the buses park sometimes, right? <laughs> yeah, I, it's kind of, uh, I just travel around from place to place. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I came across something saying that your greatest fear is zombies. Is that still the case? Yeah. Okay, let me let me know a little bit about that. Why is that? I know, it, I don't, it, it don't have to be like, you know, the rise of the undead. It could just be a, a genetic mutation of some kind and you could have you know, like the film World War Z or something. It could be something like that crazy stuff. I don't want that happening. That'd be horrible. <laughs> if something were to happen, like a zombie apocalypse, let's say, I have to ask the question. Do you think you'd be able to survive it? Uh, I don't think I'd want to survive it. <laughs> uh, I think I'd probably... Uh, I don't know, but it, if I had no one else to try and save, then I'd probably just... Uh, I don't know. I'd just probably do myself in. And then... Uh, <laughs> But, but if there was people to save, then I would have to try and survive it. Yeah. You're pretty into ping pong. How did you get into that? Just playing when you were younger? Just at school, like whenever you got a break between lunch, um, they always just had a ping pong table. It was the only thing you really had to do. So ping pong and football, really. So, okay. Yeah. I just want to do a little quick fire round with you. So whatever comes to mind after the question, feel free to say it. Let's try it. All right. What's a movie you could watch over and over? Movie I could watch over and over. Um, I uh, know Interstellar's quite cool because it's quite long as well, so at least like uh, there's a lot to to capture at each watch, I guess. Something like, and I like sci-fi. And who was your favorite artist when you were a kid? Uh, when I was a kid, uh, when I was a kid, it was probably like someone like Jean-Michel Jarre. I didn't, I liked music that didn't have any words in it, okay. so it, it was kind of synthy electronic stuff. So. And then what's a must-have on your tour rider? Uh, lots of 
lots of alcohol. <laughs> That's what we have. <laughs> Gotta keep the party going on the road. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, just to wrap things up today, is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who will be viewing the interview? Uh, I just want to say thank you very much for all your support and I uh, hope you're liking the new music and thanks for coming to the shows and I uh, hope to see you at some, uh, some more in the future. I just want to say congrats on this new record. We're absolutely loving it at the Ambi home base. And thanks for chatting today. Thank you. It's my pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogguide.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time.